All right, ladies and gentlemen, before we start our school board meeting, I'm going to ask Dr. Crenshaw if he can lead us in prayer and the Pledge of Allegiance. Let us pray. Gracious Heavenly Father, we come together, thanks for all the allow us to see another day. Heavenly Father, we ask your blessings over the children, the faculty, the staff, the administration of the Mobile County Public School System throughout the state and this nation. While we have special blessings over first responders, those men and women who keep up the long work on the danger. Now we ask that you put your love and arms around us and deliver us back to our original destination. Again, free from all hurt, harm, and danger. These things we ask in the dollar in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. This December the 14th, 2023, uh, Mobile County School Board meeting will come to order. Uh, let me start down here with Mr. Hatcher. Mr. Hatcher, any comments this morning before we start? No, sir, I have none. Mr. Harwell. I do, but I'll hold him. Thank you. Okay, well, how long are we going to hold him for? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay. Miss uh, McDay? No, no, sir. No, sir. Crenshaw. Okay. I will say one thing. All uh, right, go right ahead. Mr. Hatcher, remind me, we have Mr. Moore here with us today. Mr. Moore? He's uh, uh, qualified to run for school board. I don't know if he can fill the seat, but <laughs> he's applied for it. You know, what's the old expression? Be careful what you want, you might get it. Okay. So That's what they always say. Just remember what you sign up for. <laughs> Absolutely. Mr. Threadgill, any comments from you, sir, before we start? Do I hear a approval of the minutes? So moved. Second. Okay, we have a motion to approve the minutes and a second. Any further discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed? Okay. Do I hear a motion for agenda adoption? So moved. Second. Okay, we have a motion to adopt the agenda and we have a second. Mr. Third Gill, any additions to that that we might need to know? Yes, sir. Um, as I told you at the work session, we were going to add a contract with Strickland Youth, Youth Center. Yes, so if you'll bring your attention to action item, item G2, it's the uh, contract between us and the Strickland Youth Center to provide comprehensive educational services for adjudicated youth who resides in the Mobile County and other areas. Uh, that fund source is uh, coming out of Specialized Treatment Center for $630,087. Um, so I will ask that you add action item G2 between us and Strickland Youth Center. Any other, sir? No, sir. Then the motion, Mr. Chairman, need to read that we approve the minutes as amended. Okay. Uh, there's a motion to approve the minutes uh, as uh, adjusted and amended. Do I second. hear a second on that? Second. All right, second. Any further discussion? All, right, all in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed? Motion carries. Okay, we've gone through announcements. Miss Abner Phillips, we have some recognitions. Very good. All right. First, can we call forward the representatives of Denton Magnet School of Technology and Mr. Stringfellow? We have Mr. Stevenson, Ms. Quinones, and Mr. Pedway. You can stand over there. Denton Magnet School of Technology was recently recognized by A-plus College Ready as a school of excellence for achieving record academic growth. Denton was one of just 10 schools statewide to receive this honor. Denton participates in the A-plus College Ready, an initiative that prepares students for college, career, and life by expanding access to advanced placement and other challenging coursework. Participating schools receive high quality training for the teachers, incentives for students to do their best, classroom materials and supplies, and ongoing support. As a result, Denton Magnet School saw an increase of 70 points in one school year on the PSAT. Congratulations to Denton Magnet School. First of all, let me say how proud I am of Denton and the progress that they've made. And it's due uh, to the administration uh, the folks that you see out front, Mr. Stevenson, Ms. Quinones, Mr. Petway, 
and most importantly to all of the teachers and other staff members that support uh, their efforts at that school. You have to understand that there are hundreds of schools in the state of Alabama. I'm talking about from elementary, middle, and high school. Denton was one of the top 10 schools, and that is quite an accomplishment. And as you see, Mr. Stevenson is holding right there the plaque. Is that correct, Mr. Stevenson? I hope that's the one. Well, I have a certificate here for you from the Mobile County Public Schools Certificate of Recognition awarded to Denton Magnus School of Technology, A-plus college-ready school of excellence. And I can't be more proud of what you guys have accomplished. Congratulations. Thanks. I just want to say you mentioned the staff and the administration, but I also want to say that we're really proud of our students. They worked hard for this. With our college A-plus ready program, the students are challenged um, with a very rigorous curriculum to reach their highest potential, and they've really met that challenge and worked extremely hard for this. Again, we know that the students at Denton, it's a technology school. We know they, they receive numerous awards for coding, robotics, other technology areas, but to get recognized by the State Department and through College A Plus Ready for the core academics, that, that's powerful for us, especially with growth, because that's undisputed, that us, our teachers are meeting the students where they're at and helping them grow and excel, and that's what we're there to do. So, thank you. I might add one more thing, I'm so proud that we have a lot of schools uh, in our district and administrators and teachers and students that are working hard in any time that we see any, an opportunity to award academic excellence, I think it's a wonderful thing. I happened to be by Denton the other day and school had been let out and um, everybody's going home, buses are gone, just about all the kids. And lo and behold, they're having a history club meeting. Now, not soccer, not basketball practice, not any of that kind of stuff. So I walk in, and there's Dr. Card, uh, one of the history teachers at Denton, with a room full of sixth graders that are getting ready for a contest for the uh, social studies fair like that. But it was going to be done electronically. And so I just thought that was wonderful that they are giving of their time and, and the staff is giving of their time for these things to happen. And this is just a small example of what is occurring right there and is occurring in the other schools also. So one more big hand for them, please. So Mr. Stringfellow wanted to recognize our Golden Apple Award winners, and we've already had eight this year. Four of them are here today, so if I call your name, please come forward. We have Lieutenant Colonel Chevelle Thomas of Murphy High School and Kalasia Tyus of Williamson High School. Can you come forward with Ms. McDade, your board member? We also have Lori Watt of Mary G. Montgomery High School, so can you come forward with Mr. Harwell? and April McKellar of Robbins Elementary School. So Dr. Crenshaw, can you come forward with her? I'm gonna give these to you. There's your two. There's yours. I'm gonna tell you a little bit about these amazing educators. So Lieutenant Colonel Chevelle Thomas, she has served in Afghanistan, Iraq, and Kuwait during her 23 years in the Army. She even served as a communications director at West Point. Now she's teaching students at Murphy High School important life skills. That includes financial literacy, 
resume writing, and conflict resolution on top of the traditional JROTC instruction. She was nominated for the WKRG Golden Apple Award by one of her students who said that Lieutenant Colonel Thomas is always there to offer a helping hand for her students. Congratulations, Lieutenant Colonel Chevelle Thomas. Now, Kalasia Tyus, will you raise your hand? Okay. <laughs> Zoology, Forensics, and Marine Science. Those are the courses that Kalasia Tyus teaches her students at Williamson High School. She's been a teacher for eight years. She says she loves being able to interact with students that come from similar background as her. She wants them all to know they can achieve anything they want as long as they put their best foot forward. She wasn't always sure that she wanted to be a teacher, but now she loves it and her students love her too, and we are thankful that you've become a teacher. So congratulations, Ms. Tyus. And I do want to recognize Mr. Sanderson is here from Murphy. And I it over to Good morning. Um, it's a great day here for District 4 um, with Kalisha Tyus teaching all the sciences over at Williamson and they are progressing and moving forward. So I want to say congratulations to uh, Ms. Tyus. Lieutenant Colonel Chevelle Thomas, uh, reading your resume and listen to all the things that you've done she's one of those uh military people that jumps out of airplanes <laughs> so you know we're excited about that and uh, i know that she's going to do great because she has her supervisor connor barrel is uh, is airborne and and she's airborne also so we're looking for great things over at murphy uh, mr sanderson uh but we appreciate everything that you're doing over there and uh, the community give you all the accolades. So thank you for that. Hand them those and I'll tell you a little bit about Lori Watt. Will you wave? Lori Watt from Mary G. Montgomery High School and her principal Chip Minton is here. Will you wave? Okay. Lori Watt has been at Mary G. Montgomery High School for two years, but she's already making a big impact on her students there. She was a private school teacher and a bus driver for several years before becoming a choir teacher at MGM. And now she's leading her student musicians as they receive superb, superb ratings in various competitions. A student nominated her saying that anytime she or her classmates are struggling, Ms. Watts is always there to help them. So congratulations, Ms. Watt. Good morning. Uh, when you talk about Ms. Watt, this is the, you know, she's done a great job with our kids, course and everything, but one of the things that we've experienced all has been on the school board is when you follow a long-term person that really did a good job. Ms. Malone did a really great job, and when, usually when somebody comes in after that, you, we all know that there seems to be some setbacks, some are not here, and I, I appreciate that, where she can take what, we, what was already worked on, make it just into a great uh, course uh, in time, and one of the things I, you know, people um, always comment about our, our course and, and especially at the graduation, all the stuff y'all do and, and the young ladies at the chamber that come and do all that kind of stuff. So she's done a really great job. And I almost want to mean her better half back there. I said her better half. You know, most of us, we always have our better half that helps up, but her husband helps her a lot. I know he's always at the school and doing a great job and, and just a great team. And also her dad's here today. And so I uh, just appreciate, appreciate what you're doing. Thank you. Now I'll tell you about April McKellar from Robbins Elementary School. A teacher for 20 years, April McKellar's mission is simple, to make a difference. She has taught first, third, and now fifth grade. When she sees a child who was struggling to make academic gains, it tugs at her heart. She wants all of her students to be successful and she truly makes an impact in their lives. In fact, many of them have visited the school as adults to see her and to thank her for a job well done. Congratulations, Ms. McKellar. Ms. McKellar, on behalf of the Mobile County Public School System, we want to say thank you so much for your efforts. Uh, truly, you are a person that believes that children don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. And I think that's the first step in getting them to learn, being able to motivate them. So on behalf of the Mobile County Public School System, we say congratulations, and we're looking forward to you working another 25 years in the system. <laughs> And, and her principal, Taronda Smith, is here as well. So will you wave at us? And we know you're proud.
All right, Mr. Any, any further announcements, uh, Ms. Phillips? Or Ms. Phillips, go. Oh, sorry. You were in the right place. Okay. Is that it? Okay. Mr. Sternfeller. Sir. You mind if I'm, I, I do my little vent session? Well, go right ahead. <laughs> it's a great time to I think a lot of times we don't, we see it. We see what kind of uh, great teachers we have all through the, all through the system. And so uh, recently in my, new adventure I've been out on. Um, you hear a lot about schools and the education system. You know, people wanting to or not wanting to move to Mobile, and we're always mentioned. They just don't know how good we are. So now I've got kind of defensive about it. And, you know, the first thing I look at is this school system puts in, Laura, you might have to help me, $32 million a month just in payroll in the economy. I think we're approving today five million six million seven million dollars that we're going to be spending this month on vendors and all that so we put a lot of money in the in the mobile every single month and then i get to thinking about it we got what uh 52,000 50,000 students 58,000 employees that's that's 60,000 people today that's associated with mobile county public school that's about 31 32 percent of mobile county today is with us and so I'm just trying to figure out why we, we, we got we to gotta let people stop talking about us. Talk about the great things we're doing. I know I'm venting a little bit, but I, I do, I get defensive. I talk to these people, they haven't even been to a school board meeting. They don't know, we don't know that we have all our academies and our workforce development. Yeah, we need some new buildings. I got it. We all know that we're working on that. But at the same time, we need to get the message out that what we're doing is good things. And that people that work for us work hard. And so when they're talking about a reason maybe about Mobile County, they're talking about all of us. I think it's time for all 60,000 of us to stand up and say, we're together. And, and, and we are a good team. Maybe we've been, maybe I should have been doing this 11 years ago. I don't know. But when you get out there, you see that. And not to mention the parents. If we just multiply you know, another 104, that's a bunch of folks that have to deal with Mobile County Public Schools. We need to get the message out we're doing the right thing. That if people want to move to Mobile County, they can get a good education from our system. And that we're going to put good people in work. I mean, kids in Central now are leaving Central Nile High School making $32 to $36 an hour. That should be all over the news. They leave BC Reigns making money. And then guess what? We do hundreds, I mean, millions and millions of dollars of scholarships. And we send them all, we send them to our three major colleges we have here and all over the country. Do they come back to Mobile? And so when I'm asking these high school, you know, school, what are you doing? Are you coming back? No, one of them says, because it's the education I didn't get. They got a good education and they're ready to go to work. We have 96% graduation rate, maybe. Is it that high now? That, and what does that mean? When we say they graduate, what are they, they can go to college or they can go get a job. So I, I think we just we got to do a better job of getting our message out there. What we who we are, we're not the we're not the minority. We're the majority. We need to we need to get that message out there. I'm, I'm I, that's what I'm I'm going to be preaching that now. I mean because we are people should want to come to Mobile County Public Schools, and we're getting statistics right now with private schools. You know how many of them graduate and they go to the local college. You know, and does the and I could go on and on, but. You know, we just need we just need to get that message out more than ever right now. How good we are, and and how how many jobs we're putting people when they graduate from high school go get a job, and maybe it's because they're making more than the parents. I I don't know what the problem is, but we have a lot of students that are graduate in May that go to work making thirty something dollars an hour as a diesel mechanic, as a you no know, working on the planes, working on the boats. You know, working at the steel mill. So we have a lot of good things going on. That we just, people need to know that we should be. They should, the city and the county, everybody should be coming to us and, hey, hi, let's get on board with you. And we need to make that happen. That's it. I'm, I'm through that. Well, that's okay because I'm glad you vented. I, I would say, I agree with you 100 uh, percent that we've got, like you said, 
some, today was a classic, very small example of the teachers and the other folks that we have that go above and beyond every day in our school system. Come early, stay late, spend their money, extra stuff to do things, and it means that in, that's really important to them. And Doug, I'm, I really, and I've seen this myself for the 50 years that I've been involved in this, that there are a lot of good things that go on. And just because we have 50 plus thousand or more kids and, and employees, because something negative happens, it doesn't, that should not take away from all of the fantastic things that are going on. So I, I'm, I, I'm glad for your event and I, I agree with you 100%. That's my last statement. So, because this is because this is what people other people don't realize. We travel eight million seven hundred miles a year with school buses. You know how much fuel we buy? You know how many tires we buy? I mean, I mean, we do a lot of stuff for a lot of people in this in this county. Do you know that our school bus system got an A plus rating as the uh, the very top in the whole state? So we and have, we bus have more drivers. buses than everybody. Yeah. So we have bus drivers get up at five, five o'clock in the morning, go get on a bus to get kids to school. We've got all kinds of stuff going on that everybody needs to know. And uh, I'm, I'm doing it. I hope y'all join me in doing it to go out and say, this is what we're doing. We're, we are, we're the, we're the force in Mobile County. I'm just telling you. I didn't, this, maybe it just took me doing this to see that. But I'm just going like 8,000, 8 million, 700 miles buses are riding down our roads. Of course. Now, I know what kind of roads they ride now, too, so it's good, some good information for me. But I'm just saying it's, it, it, it is a positive system that we need. That we, need to, we need to be going everywhere we can, everywhere these people are going for us and saying, this is, no, we're good. Not, not only are we really good, we're great. we got a lot of people. And the people that you keep indicating that maybe we're not good are friends of ours. They're, they're our fellow employees. And we all should stand up together and say, you know what? We're good. We're good. So we need to do that. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Arwell. Mr. S Mr. Superintendent, do we have any citizens' requests today? No, sir. Okay, then let's move to action items with G1, please, sir. Are we good? Yes, sir. <laughs> okay. All right. Thank you, you for go ahead. All right. <laughs> Thank you for that commercial. <laughs> We're, we're, Adams, good. <laughs> we're good. He's we're kidding. good. Okay. All right. We'll start off with action item G1, 2024-25 school year calendar. Um, we will be having public hearings on January the 8th and January the 11th. I ask that you approve action item G1 to start the public hearings for our 2024-25 school calendar. Mr. Chairman, Dr. Crenshaw, in light of the fact that these items have been vetted uh, in our work session, and thanks to the great advertisement you guys just gave us, I offer a motion we approve action item one through twenty-one. G one through G twenty-one. Address number two separately. Okay. Excluding uh, item G two. Okay. So you're going to modify your motion to go G one, exclude it through. Uh, th then three through 21, is that correct? Yes, yes, sir. Okay, all right. I have a motion here, a second? Yeah, second. Uh, any further discussion? Okay, all in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed? Motion carries. Mr. Superintendent, G2, please, sir. Yes, sir, G2. <clears throat> um, contract between us and Strickland Youth Center to provide a comprehensive educational services for adjudicated youth who resides in Mobile County and other areas. Uh, that funding source is state funds of specialized treatment center with the amount of $630,000 and 87 cents. I ask that you approve action item G2 between us and Strickland Youth Center. Do I hear a motion? Second. Second. Motion. Second. Okay. All right, we have a motion to approve action item G2. There is a second. Any further discussion? No further discussion. All in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed? Motion carries. Mr. Superintendent, 22. Action item G22 with IXL Learning for Council Traditional 
to provide a one-year subscription site license for IXL Learning Digital Platform. That will be coming out of Title I funds for $5,500. I ask that you approve action item G22 with IXL Learning. Do I hear a motion? Mr. Chairman, make a motion that we approve 22 through 41. Second. 22 through 41, sir? Yes, sir. Okay. 41. Okay, we have a motion and a second to approve action items G22 through G41. <coughs> Any further discussion? No further discussion. All in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed? Motion carries. Consent agenda items, Mr. Superintendent. Yes, sir. Consent agenda H1 with the Mobile County Commission with Dodge Elementary School to provide funds for the cost of a water bottle refill station. Again, that's coming out of County Commission's funds for $5,000. That's uh, consent agenda H1. Any motion? Mr. Chairman, since we've, already, since we've already vetted those items, I move that we uh, approve action items, consent agenda 1 through 12. Okay. Do I hear a second? Second. Okay. We have a motion to approve consent agenda items 1 through 12. Any further discussion? All right. No further discussion. All in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed? Motion carries. H1 would be the out of county travel. H13, H14, I'm sorry, would be our various bids. Okay. Do I, do I hear a motion? I make a motion to accept uh, action items 13 through 14. All right, Commissioner okay. Hatcher. May we have a motion to approve uh, consent agenda items 13 and 14, and there was a second. Any further discussion? No further discussion. All in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed? Motion carries. Flow through, Mr. Craig Gill. Yes, sir. Um, our flow through item items, which are our private and parochial school um, funding, that will be flow through item one through four. Mr. Chairman. Dr. Crenshaw. Offer motion that we approve flow through items one through four. Okay. Okay, we have a motion. And a second to approve flow through items one through four. Any further discussion? No further discussion. All in favor say aye. 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 <clears throat> All right, on to our student expulsions, um, which are listed under separate cover. Mm -hmm. That's J1 through 11. Okay. Motion to approve. Second. I will with motion to approve. Ms. McDay, do a second. Any further discussion? Okay. All in favor, say aye. 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 Those opposed, motion carries. Okay, we have our monthly financials for the board members to uh, preview, and I'm sure you have like that. And also purchase orders, 5,000 and over and 100,000 and over. Next, we'll go to attorney client privilege. Mr. Attorney. Mr. Chairman, we have six employment matters four of which were details were sent to the board Friday and two yesterday that need uh, action by the board. Okay. I assume uh, everybody received yeah. those emails and got a yes. chance to look at them like that. All right, do I hear a motion? Make a motion. All right, Second. Commissioner Hatcher made a motion to accept the uh, uh, um, attorney-client privilege the settlements here, Mr. Harwell with the uh, second. Any further discussion? All right. All in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed? Motion carries. Scheduling of meetings, Mr. Threadgill. Uh, none for the remainder of the year. Okay. Well, that's good news, then. Okay. <laughs> um, any, before we have an adjournment, um, any further comments, Dr. Crenshaw? No, sir. Ms. McDay? No, sir. Mr. Harwell? No, sir. Mr. Hatcher? I'd like to add to Doug's comments. Uh, I agree with him. We've got some children that are coming from private schools to our schools that are not up to par. So, um, obviously, we're doing a good job because if they're not, you know, up to par with our kids, we're doing better than they are. 
just nobody knows. We just need to do a better job of getting our message out there, letting everybody know how good Mobile is. Um, I think it's important, such as Doug, to do so. And uh, I agree. We all have our problems. I mean, we just like any other business, there's problems here. And they get magnified when they when they happen, and that's fine. But if you're going to tell that, tell the whole truth. Tell all the good we do, too. We do a lot of good. We got some of the best teachers that you could absolutely get that care about these children, great administrators. And for the most part, they're all in District 5. So if you want your kids to get a good education, you come to District 5. <laughs> that's all I am. We'll accept that advertisement there. <laughs> we sure got a lot of campaigning going on this morning, boy. <laughs> It makes me want to give a donation to somebody. <laughs> give me change for a dollar. Uh, excuse me. Uh, what, what, Motion to adjourn. Wait, 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 wait. Well, before that, let me just. <laughs> we'd like to wish everybody a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And have a peaceful and restful time uh, in this time of year. And let's keep our eyes and thoughts on the real reason for this season. Yeah. Okay. And those two gentlemen owe us for those campaign plugs right there. <laughs> okay. All right. We have a motion to adjourn. adjourn. Do I hear a second? Thank you, sir. All in favor? Aye. 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 We're in I have Dr. never Craig. heard.